Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. If you guys don't remember, last time we found ourselves in a mine and here we are still obviously uh we found ourselves some diamonds as well that was absolutely amazing we're gonna try it we're gonna keep going for some more now i before we go further into this cave i need to find where we came out of this cave uh just to make sure we know okay yeah so it's right here let's just go ahead and lay down some torches just so we don't we don't lose how to get out of here this is amazing how how big this thing is okay let's go that's what she said, by the way. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go this way. Um, yeah, and we'll have to light up the way as we go. We'll pick up as much iron as possible, too. This is actually an amazing find. Uh, like I said, we do need more diamonds for what I would like to do. Because uh, I'm thinking about an enchantment table. And then... Um, actually, quite... Uh, a a uh, diamond sword would be cool, I think. Um... So we have enough for that, but I mean, obviously we're going to probably run into things that we want, like a new pickaxe I think would be nice. Um, a diamond pickaxe so that we don't keep going through with these iron ones like they're, like they're butter. Butter, is that a good one? I don't know. I guess it's kind of like butter, right? Cause I, gold would be more like the butter though, because that thing, that stuff like goes away super quick. But it's got the fastest mining time, so worth it. Okay, no, yes, there we go. And let's go ahead and keep lighting this place up. Hopefully we can find some more treasures. Um, if not, though, that's okay, because we found enough. Whoa, that's some lapis up there, so we're definitely going to have to go up there. We have enough uh, cobble for it. Okay, this looks like far enough. Um, oop, oop, there we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and make sure we check the ground. Nothing. And the lapis is right there, so we're going to go ahead and go here. Awesome. That is, we have a ton of lapis now, by the way, which is really good for uh, what we need to do with the enchanting. And there we go. So yeah, last episode I found this place, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I wish there was a lot more to explore here, but it does not seem like there really is. I thought there was going to be quite a bit more. Um, we're going to have to go up the other way because I didn't look fully that way yet. Um, and we will we will poke some holes in the walls as we go to see if we can't find any more diamond because uh, it's nice to have a lot Like we'll just oh hey see some redstone We'll do stuff like that um, As we go along uh, Redstone is is very complicated. I, I I do plan on covering it. I'm not gonna cover everything with it, but uh, Like I, I won't I won't go into like the super super high-tech stuff but I will, I will do my best to explain it to you guys and gals as, as best to my ability. Um, now let's go ahead and see there's a zombie noise. Where did that zombie noise come from? Is he up there somewhere? Just want to make sure we check all the corners here. Nope, good. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and swim up uh, one of these waterfalls and take a look around. I think we're going to swim up this middle one here. Because there looks to be a ledge up there. And hopefully we don't run into any zombies as we get to the top so we don't get knocked off. Oh, hey, a creeper. No problem. Okay. Be prepared to get wrecked. I mean, come at me, bro. One, two, three. Nice. Oh, we got another piece of gunpowder. Sweet. I think we have enough for our TNT now. Uh, so we will definitely have to go do that as long as I don't die or do what we had planned earlier. I'm not going to say it if you don't remember. Um, okay, so there is there is a whole cave system here with spiders and everything. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves a, a safe way down. Right? Okay. Just so we don't... Well, I mean, we have a way to run is the idea. Oops, that was an idea. That was, I mean, an accident. Sorry. There we go. And then that should be, yep. And we have a way down now. And that is, no, that's not the way out of the cave. The way out of the cave is right there. And now we have a way back up, too, which is important in case we need to come back. 
And we are we only have 28 melons left. Okay, so we have a skeleton there and a spider there. What do we want to fight first? Looks like both at the same time. Okay. Come on. Oh, he shot he shot this he shot the spider. Ha! Get killed! No 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 no! Yeah, get wrecked. Okay, I, I I wanna I wanna do this right. I don't wanna. That's a zombie villager. <laughs> he just like came out of nowhere. Got him. Okay, let's go ahead and light this place up some more so we don't get mauled. Now skeletons in water are usually a really bad situation, but because the water's flowing that way, it's not as bad. But what we will do is we'll come up here and we'll drop down. We'll take him. You never fight a skeleton in water. They always knock you back too far. You'll never get to them in time. Uh, so just that's a pro tip. Like even during even during the day, like out in regular flowing water, um, or just standing still water, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of trouble fighting skeletons. Okay, let's go ahead and eat up while we're semi safe here, and so that we don't just continuously lose hearts. And we will uh, we're gonna play it super safe because we did get a lot of valuable materials and we don't want to lose them. In fact. I think we'll run back to the service after we get to the end over there, and then we won't we won't travel these other two until another time. Because I really I I I, I think we need to be resupplied and stuff. So I don't and I we shouldn't be risking it. Like I shouldn't have done that and dug directly below me because if there was lava, we would have been in a very bad place. We would have, that would have been very unfortunate. Okay, so there's nothing down this way. We'll just grab what we need from here. I don't know. Should we keep going? I know. I know some of you are probably like screaming yes at the screen right now, but that is so. It's a lot. It's a lot to explore. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab this and then we're gonna play it safe. We'll take this stuff up. We'll resupply and we'll come right back down. Um, just because of how valuable everything we found is. And I keep hearing a zombie. And it sounds like he's right behind me, but he's never right behind me. And then you know the time I don't look, he's going to be right behind me. So let's go. Okay. And then our way out is just here. And remember the way we did it. Um, we're lined up directly with our stairs. Out of our mind. It's very, very convenient. And we'll jump through so it's faster. Yeah, so I'll get to the top. I'll, I'll drop everything off. And then... uh. I will be back with you guys when we're ready to go back down. Okay, everybody, and I'm back. I went ahead and harvested our farm. And I grabbed, obviously, a new pick, another pickaxe. Uh, I think we can leave our axe here and our. we'll take our shovel with us, though. And that should be about good. Uh, we have some more food now. We have our iron that we had found cooking. We have everything put away nice and neatly. Let's go ahead and, and, and I guess, go back down. I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, so we are back, and apparently there's skeletons that were waiting for us at the top of our uh, way back to where we were, which is fine. I mean, if they if they want to hang out, they're they're big fans or whatever, you know. Just I'm letting them do what they want to do, no problem. Okay, so we were headed down this cave first, this cave way. Holy crap, this is huge. Okay, um, come on. There we go. Okay, so this loops back around. So what we will do... Oh, I didn't bring in a cobble. Oh, okay. So what, we, what I would normally do is block off one of the ways. But because I, because I can't do that, it looks like... Hold, is this another cave system? Are you serious? This is awesome. I know it sounds like I wasn't excited, but I am very excited. Okay, so uh, while I was up on the surface, I noticed that we do need some more coal for our furnaces. So I will be grabbing uh, quite a bit of coal, uh, just so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be mining that quite a bit. Uh, anyway, so, so we are looking for some things. There's still a lot of things that we have not run into in caves, including, uh, but not limited to, monster spawners. Um, the end. Is, is one that we have not run into. Mine shafts. Uh, things of that nature. There we go. I'm trying to get rid of this water before we do anything else, really. Because water is annoying. Okay. There we go. Got that. Awesome. Die, did I? 
good, good, good. Okay, um. Come down? Yeah. I mean, this cave system just keeps going. But I'm going the wrong way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay down. We're going to stay down because down is where all the good resources are. Um, I'll just go ahead and eat up here. Three zombies right there. Three of them, really? Okay, so that, that 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 is like a sign of a spawner. It does not mean that there is a spawner. But if you have like a lot of zombies tracking you, it's usually pretty good. It's a good sign. But that one came around that corner, so we'll see. Let's go ahead and light this place up, though. We may have just pulled a bunch of zombies like through walls, like they they were attracted to me through walls. I think that's a thing. And let's go ahead and grab this gold. I don't know what we're gonna do with the gold. Uh, I know they're good for speed up tracks with uh or uh yeah with minecarts and stuff. So maybe we'll play with those because minecarts do have an update in 1.8. Minecarts can now fall off the track if they're going too fast. So we'll have to do some experiments and things of that sort, uh, especially if we want to use an automated system with uh, minecarts. Oh, and we missed some gold here. Holy crap! This all we're getting is gold. We're gonna have to build gold armor and become the king of this world. That is absolutely cool. Okay, so um, what else do we need? Uh, see, it's like I don't want to miss anything because I know I don't want. I'm not gonna want to come back. And and so what? What the good thing is is that we will find uh, quite a bit if if I just grab everything. And then we, we, we will be able to do a lot of other things instead of having to mine in, for, in future episodes. Okay. Remember we look up, we look down, we look everywhere. Oh, I did not mean to fall in this hole, but apparently uh, fate wanted it to be done. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to knock me in the lava, huh? Jeez, that scared me. I'm not going to lie. And I'm also not going to lie. I'm kind of lost. Uh, I want to go down where we where we just were though before I cross that. So let's go back into here, I guess, and we will uh, do this. Hopefully, find. Oh wait, did we? Oh, okay, so this is a circle. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> let's do this. But that's good because then we don't have to explore a whole ton more. At least down here. Uh, I'll stop picking up the redstone. We have quite a bit, uh, enough to work with. It's just, I like to pick up redstone because it's like, it's, it's something you're getting for mining and it's a possibility that you run into diamonds when doing it. There's just so much gold here. I don't, uh, what level am I on? I'm on level 11. This should be diamond territory, not gold territory. She wants diamonds and she wants gold. Okay, um, okay. So there's nothing back here. Good to know. Okay. Last thing of redstone we do. See, like that. Like, we would have never known this gold is here if we never did that redstone. Like, that's what I mean. This is a very cool cave system. Remember, guys, if you guys want to check out the seed, uh, it is 100% legit. Uh, and I think I have it down in the description below already. Uh, yeah, and I mean, everything I've done, you'll see, is is 100% naturally found. I, I'd i be surprised if you found something different. Um, like, I mean, like, if you found something that, that seemed like I put into the world, because I have not put anything myself into the world, like, cheating-wise. Everything I've done is legit. Um, there we go. Now we have tons, tons of resources. We have tons of gold, actually, which is awesome. I, I, I've been down this way fully, right? Yes, yes, yes. So let's go. Oh, we still have, like, no cobble. We didn't want these arrows. Give me that. Thank you. We still have, like, no cobble. It's okay. <gasps> Whoa, okay. So this is a witch. Witches are pretty strong. Um, they throw splash potions on you instead of hitting you or anything. They uh, The splash potions will cause debuffs. Usually it's debuffs. Uh, when they die, they drop elements of potions. So things that you can use in a potion. Now, witches used to only spawn in witches' huts, but now they have been added to spawn just about anywhere in 1.7, I believe that was a thing. Uh, this one has caught our eye, or caught us. So we're going to just go ahead and, uh, and try to sneak up on it here. We gotta be fast too because you don't want it throwing anything on you because it will throw a uh, hunger 
uh, poisons, it will it will take out anything. So you got to be careful about those. It's, it seems like just a ton of mobs have spawned in here. And the weird part is, is that I cleared out a lot of it. Okay, we're gonna go up to the to the right first, I think. Oh no, that's the circle. That's the circle way. Remember, we marked that. But I want to do this first. Get out of here with your. How is that one always there? There's always one there. We're gonna mark like a ton of torches here, so we know that's the way out if we ever come across this area again. Where did you come from? Like, it just gets stuck, I guess. Okay, so then we're gonna block off this water now. I'll eat first, though. There we go. I'll just. There we go. There were a lot of mobs here. Some more zombies we can hear. See what I mean? Like, this just keeps going. Holy crap. I, I wanted to block off this water, but this opens up a whole area. Okay, so it looks like we're just higher up. From um, where we were. There's a zombie up there. How many zombies? One zombie. Okay. So we're just higher up. Like, we just keep going up the totem pole here. There is a lot of water. Oh, hello. Crap, I misplaced that, but that's okay. Apparently it's working. Oh, we took damage. Dang it. Okay. And then we'll just get this iron. Like I said, we want to get further down. Who shot me? Oh, that guy shot me from all the way over there? Congrats, dude. What's in here? Oh, another part of the cavern. Uh, uh, their arrows don't do much because of our iron, iron armor. So... We'll just leave this guy, especially because we don't want to risk going out on that ledge and then getting shot off trying to go over to uh, to get them. Grab some more gold, holy crap. And some more iron. Okay, so it looks like we have not run into any more diamonds. I was really hoping we could run into diamonds or emeralds, especially because this is a larger cave system. Um, fortunately, we did run into a lot, a lot of that gold. Uh, so we'll be able to use it for a few things. I, and th I know this is not completely explored yet, too, which is really cool. So I can always come back down. I can always look back around. Um, like, hi. Awesome. The more spider eyes as well are the better because that is used for our night vision potions, I believe. Uh, along with a carrot or a golden carrot, I think. Um, so, yeah, so keep that in mind. That's why, like, I like fighting the mobs right now is because... We need a lot of materials, like this guy that's going to give us our gunpowder. Um, and let's go ahead and get get back to the surface, because there's one more thing that I would like to do this episode. What a failed jump. Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> There we go. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and... Oh, that's, a, that's an Enderman. Where are you? I heard him, but I don't see him. Okay, let's go. Back up to the service. So all in all, I'd say it was a successful trip. Um, the first heart part of that trip was definitely more successful than the second part. But, I mean, beggars can't be choosers, right? I'm super glad that we did get diamonds. Uh, like I said, I think we're going to make a enchanting table first. That's like the first thing we're going to do. But first we need to make an enchanting room for that enchanting table. Um, so I'll probably do that in the next episode. Um, and, and, yeah, and we'll also as well uh, start a sugarcane farm. Maybe we'll auto automate a sugarcane farm uh, so we can get some books going so we can get higher level enchantments and stuff. If you don't know about that, I will cover it uh, in, if not next episode, in an episode coming soon. Uh, while we're up here, I want to drop off quite a few things like this. Uh, and I'll be right back, you guys. All right, and we are back. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed everything. There's just a couple more things we're going to need. I want to come down here and we're going to grab four pieces of sand. Um, we want to make it look natural though still, so just be careful where we grab them from. That one was a missed pull. That's why I did two. 
and um, still got to get rid of these. I'm going to get rid of this tree because it looks really awkward there. Um, but I kind of like this one that's hanging over. I don't know if I'll just get rid of the vines completely or if this will work, but hopefully it will if I just get rid of the root there. Um, and we won't have those hanging out anymore. Okay, so let's take the sand and we'll go into crafting bench. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and place these guys here like this. Oh, no, like this. And we place the gunpowder in an X form. And we have TNT. Now, if you guys don't remember, I made a promise to you. We're going to go ahead and make a redstone torch, by the way. Uh, we, I went ahead and I promised you that we would go ahead and get our, our revenge on that sign, or the R, because I wanted to get rid of it. Um, and I, I just never got around to it because we didn't have the, the proper things for TNT. But having killed that creeper this episode, or those creepers this episode, like that one, we are able to do so. That was crazy. That scared the crap out of me. Okay. I'll repair this, I guess, another time. That's going to make me mad, though, that that looks like crap now. Okay, and we are going to go ahead and create our boat. That's that what is what I was doing, and now I've brought a little bit of dirt so we can get up to the to the top, but I don't have an evacuation plan yet. So we're kind of just going to have to make it up as I go. Um. Okay, I think I got it. I think we can do it. Just get rid of the boat because who cares, right? Okay, and we're going to grab these melons as well because we need melons. Oh, that's okay to take. Oh, I can't believe I don't have my axe on me now. So it turns out uh, that the pumpkin pies were pretty easy to make uh, in the other episode. And I would like I would like to automate pumpkin pies, but the problem is eggs. Is we I don't know where to get eggs very easily. Obviously, there are egg farms that you can make automated, but then that lags a whole world. Um... So I don't know what we're going to do yet, but let's go ahead and hop up here. We'll put this guy down. We'll put this guy down. And are you guys ready? We're going to light it. Okay, so basically red, uh, TNT is activated by two things. Flint and steel, or in general, fire, and uh, redstone. Redstone activation. So let's go ahead and do this. Ready? Go, go, go. I want to see it. Nice! Okay, what is left? What is left? Oh, we got one piece of cobble left. That is so awesome. But yeah, that's TNT. TNT is so fun to play with. Uh, I don't know that we'll really be using it very much um, because I think we're going to start saving gunpowder for another thing that uses gunpowder, which are fireworks. Fireworks, uh, we'll, I'll teach you how to create them, what, what everything does, and we'll, we'll use it for like celebration events. I really like the look of the house, by the way. It's really coming together. Uh, I like it. Like like I said, it doesn't look much different from the front, except for our new way to get in. But it it looks tremendously different on the inside, which uh, which is just so cool to me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Uh, tell your friends about me if uh, if you think they'd like my channel as well. I I would love to have some new. Uh, new awesome viewers. Um, yeah, and have a great day, everybody.